A fund with a 94.9% yield? What? And yes, there is a catch. There is a catch. And we're going to go into this very good article from the Wall Street Journal. And I have firsthand experiences of something like this, too. It's very interesting. If you're wondering why I got a collar on, because I just got back from curriculum night for my two boys, 11th and 12th grade, last curriculum night for Kevin. He's done. You know, this, is, this is it, man. And Liam's 11th grade. And just thinking back, we've been going to curriculum nights since... 2005, when Maddie was a kindergarten. 2005, so it's 20 years. 20 years we've been going to curriculum nights. Ah, time goes on. Your time goes on. Your days are getting numbered. Talk to my man today. And uh, it's just Mike, my man Mike in Texas. And uh, he just says, the, uh, we're, I have a lot more time behind me than I have time ahead of me. And I said, man, I'm 54. I know the feeling, man. And, uh, Hope you use it wisely. Now, anyway, don't forget to fondle that like button. Yeah, just get a little fondle, a little tickle there, and uh, I'm much obliged. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Just subscribe to old buddy Josh. Try to get me over that 100,000 thing so I get that YouTube plaque. Hopefully, I'll get it before I turn 75 years old. All right, so let's read this from the Wall Street Journal. Um, uh, when investors see an ETF promoting a sky-high yield, they might forget what they learned in Investing 101. So this is from Jason Zweig. Uh, February 2024. I don't know why I haven't uh, seen this article till now, but uh, I, you know I have a subscription to the Wall Street Journal. I think I pay, oh man, 500 bucks a year or something like that. It's deductible because I'm a I'm a business owner, so it's tax deductible. But my name is Kevin. Kevin. My name is Pablo. My teeth are jacked up. I probably love you. Look at those eyes. Is anything so cute as a dachshund slash uh, Chihuahua's eyes? My name is Pablo. Smash the like button. There it is. Oh, I get on my lap. Okay, let me do that. Um. Anyway, so anyway, I, so I I, sh I should read it more. I, I read it a couple times a week, and you know, I usually get some good stuff on there. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. ETFs that trade options on single stocks are promoting themselves with some of the highest deals I've ever seen. Let's see what they got here. This is San Francisco-based Curve Investment Management highlighted. Yields of 11.3 to 30% on six of his ETFs. <laughs> uh, yield max, a family of roughly 20 ETFs held out yields of 11.3 to 94.9. These ETFs are new wrinkled on what are known as covered call funds. They offer jumbo current payouts using option contracts to wring extra yield from a single stock. If the underlying stock drops, the ETFs could go down somewhat less. I 100%. That makes them appealing to tech stock fans whose holdings pay paltry dividends, 100%. Um, let's take a look. In investors have flocked to some of these ETFs. The Yield Max Fund that trades options related to Tesla stock was touting a yield of 56.6% this week. <laughs> look at this. 81.6% <laughs> distribution rate. And they got an asterisk here. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So let's, uh, let's look what the asterisk says down here. Come on. There we got PayPal one, a Bitcoin one, 50, uh, ultra option income strategy, 95 on a Misty. Look at that. It's, oh, my goodness. That, is, that cracks me up. All right. So we'll see the asterisk says. The distribution rate in 30-day SEC yield is not ind indicative of future distributions. In particular, future distributions on any ETF may sign offer, differ significantly from its distribution rate. You think? So let's see the uh, Tesla one. You got a distribution rate of 81.64 and a 30-day SEC yield of 4.26. Huh. Let's take a look here. Let's see, let's keep reading here. Uh, according, the distribution rate will change over time, and such change may be significant. The distribution rate may include a combination. Oh, let's see, right here. Uh, the distribution rate may include a combination of ordinary dividends, capital gains, and return of principal. Which may decrease a fund's national uh, uh, net asset value. Return of principal. So, so if you have a distribution rate of eighty-one point six four and a thirty-day SEC yield, that means you're getting your principal back. Oh my goodness! So let's take a look what the returns have been on Tesla. Let's see if it shows us returns here. A Tesla at uh, the beginning of the year at ten thousand smackaroonies is worth eighty-nine hundred bucks. So you're down eleven percent year to date. Even though the dividend is on a dividend yield, that's a distribution rate, which is return of principal, is worth 85, 85.69%. Uh, that would be a negative 16% annualized return. So you're down over the course of 12 months, it will continue to be 16% you're down. But I'm getting 85.69. 
That's the whole thing with these covered call strategies, man. I'm telling you, you sell a covered call strategy in a down market, your butt is cooked. Let's see what Tesla stock has done so far this year. Let's go back to, that's Tesla. So Tesla's down uh, 11% so far this year. Let's look at Tesla. And I would have no idea. Um, so we're going to check it out. Let's see what we got here. Tesla uh, is down uh, 10%. So the, that's interesting. So the actual options fund is down more than the actual stock itself. I would have thought it had been uh, less. So anyway, so let's keep reading here, my man. If I can find the article right in a second. Distribution yield, the ETF's website is also to play a measure required by the SEC called the SEC yield. This includes income from dividends and interest, but not from selling options or not from return of principal. This week, SEC yields barely, uh, uh, of all these, about 5%, which, which is actually lower than we can get in a, in a, in a Vanguard money market, for instance. The return of this, the return of this form of marketing bait harks back to the darkest day of the fund business. Uh, in the 1980s, mutual fund companies used to use distribution yields to hawk government plus or option. Man, one, I remember this like it was yesterday. And also, they had it on um, charitable gift annuities. Used to drive and say, why is charitable gift annuities paying so much? I did not realize relative to a dividend account or just relative to an interest account. And then I realized, oh, because they're returning your interest back, uh, your principal back. So they say distribution yield 7.9. You're like, man, I'm only getting 3% or 4% of dividend. Why so much? Or even a fixed annuity because we're turning your, uh, your, uh, you're getting return of your investment. In 1988, the SEC uh, posed a rule that required funds to stop using distribution yield unless it's accompanied by standard measures as SEC yield and total return. Um, let's see what I'm right here. When you buy a fund for its yield alone, you're likely to end up a lot wiser, but not wealthier. No one has ever said it better than the late market analyst Raymond DeVoe. Move, more money has been lost reaching for a yield than at the point of a gun. <laughs> so when I was at USAA, for some reason they had a, a, a bond fund, a short-term bond fund that had a special payout. I can't remember why, but it had like a distrib had a, a, a an SEC, it was an SEC yield, not even a distribution yield. And I was like 25 or 29% for like one month because they had like the month of November, they had to pay some kind of special dividend or special, I can't remember what it was. And people were calling in and saying, I want that fund. I, we'd, and I remember USA said, you got to tell people this is a 30-day SEC yield. It will not continue because it's based on the last 30 days. What they literally do is they take the last 30 days of your income and they annualize that. And they said, this is what the last 30 days were. And if you continue to get that, your yield will be 29.5. And it wasn't anywhere near 29.5. It was like three. But we had to show it because that was literally what the 30-day yield was. And I can't remember what the special dividend or the special income. I just can't remember. And people would be, I, I remember just talking, people would be pissed. No, it's like, they'd say, no, that's not right. That's what it's showing, 29.9, whatever it was. I said, dude, you're not going to get that. You missed it. That was the last 30 days. The next 30 days, I guarantee it won't be that because that was a one-time deal. And you missed it. You're not going to get that. Now, I remember people would be like, man, like, yeah, right, you're misleading us and stuff. And no, I'm literally telling you what's, and USA gave us the information to tell people this. But we had to post it because it was, a third, it was literally the 30-day SEC yield. I'll never forget that. People were like, I was literally telling people, no, no, no. They're like, no, that's not true. You wouldn't post it. It's like, we have to. We have to. But that's just, they would not hear it. It's weird. Anyway, this is the problem with covered call, things like that. When the stock goes down, you're selling covered calls in a down market. I'm telling you right now, man, you got, this is what happened to me. I've done videos on this. I got killed selling covered calls. I was selling pet smart calls, uh, CMGI, uh, the Qs in, in the late 90s and going into... 2001 and two, and it just basically stopped at 2001 because I just got hammered. Stocks are going down. I kept selling. Eventually, I'll never forget. PetSmart was down to four. I sold the cover call out of the money option at seven and a half, thinking no way. And it's like when I bought PetSmart, it's like 35 something like that. And I just rode that sucker now. I said, all right, I'll just keep it, and then if it comes back, you know, I'll just get my money back. I said, no, I'm gonna sell a couple uh, out of the money cover calls, and then it went from like four to 20 or something like that. And I just and I basically got taken from me at seven and a half. And I lot it went from thirty. I went from thirty five down to four, and they my lots got taken from me at seven and a half. I was able to keep all the income I generated, but wasn't anywhere near the loss in the price. It's just I'm just telling you. Anyway, love your thoughts. Don't forget to bundle. God bless. We'll see.